Venezuela and Brazil reiterate rejection of any foreign intervention in Syria's affairs and their support for a peaceful solution to the crisis. take full control of Tel El Qaish, Jabal Rutto and Tel Dorin in Latakia's northern suburbs. The Egyptian authorities captured the Muslim Brotherhood leader Muhammad Badia and nine other leaders of the organization on the charge of killing and instigating violence and terrorism. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Yerado Krikorian from the News Center in Damascus. Venezuela and Brazil have reiterated rejection of any foreign intervention in Syria's affairs and their support for a peaceful solution to the crisis. Venezuela's permanent representative to the UN, Julio Escalona, said in a statement during the UN Security Council's session on the protection of civilians that providing the extremist and mercenary groups who are fighting illegally in Syria with arms and weapons would further ignite the violence and the terrorist acts committed against innocent civilians. On her part, Brazil's deputy representative to the UN, Regina Maria Cordero Danlop, affirmed that smuggling weapons into Syria will further increase the violence and will not lead to peace. She warned against the repercussions of smuggling arms because it feeds the belief that there is a military option to the crisis. Our valiant armed forces have maintained full control on Tel El Qaish, Roto Mound and Tel Dorin in northern countryside of Latakia after eliminating the last gatherings of terrorists who sneaked into the area. According to a tight plan, the Syrian Arab army units advanced towards Ashaya Mount and cleared it from the terrorists who had dis desecrated the shrine of Prophet Ashaya and destroyed his tomb before fleeing towards Selma and the border areas. When they reached the top of the mountain, the Syrian Arab army units found Turkish and Qatari made food items that were in the terrorists' procession. An official source has dismissed as categorically untrue reports by Al Arabiya satellite channel claiming that terrorists had stormed into Al Qadam railway station. The source added that such news is part of the false allegations fabricated by the channels that are partners in shedding Syrian blood. Eight citizens have been injured, including a woman, during terrorist attacks with motor shells targeting citizens' houses near Al Abbasiyin Stadium, as well as in Saad Zaghloul and Khalid ibn al Walid streets in Al Qassar and Al Qanawat in Damascus. Welcome back. Israeli occupation forces released the Syrian prisoner Fida Naif al-Wali who is from the occupied village of Majdal Shams in Golan after arresting him for a whole year, delaying and procrastinating his release. The so-called Israeli magistrate's court in Al-Nasira had sentenced the young man for a year in prison after the events of al nakse and al nakbe which took place on the opposite side of the occupied village. Prisoner al Wili, who was released in the late hours yesterday, was immediately surrounded by his family and friends who came to congratulate him for being freed from the Israeli jails. The so-called Israeli Magistrates Court in al nasira had sentenced the young man for a year in prison after the events of al naksa and al nakba which took place on the opposite side of the occupied village.
Egyptian police arrested today the leader of the Muslim Brotherhood, Mohammed Badia, in Cairo. An Egyptian security source said the security forces arrested the leader of the Muslim Brotherhood, Mohammed Badia, who was accompanied with several Brotherhood leaders and six of his bodyguards and eight in an apartment in a Tayarin Street near Rabi al Adawiya area. The arrests came as the Egyptian interim president announced three days of mourning for the killing of 24 soldiers in Sinai after a brutal terrorist attack on their bus, an incident that sparked the anger of the Egyptian street against the Muslim Brotherhood. Meanwhile, Egyptian Minister of Interior said that investigations revealed the identity of the perpetrators of the Sinai massacre, affirming that they were 18 terrorists belonging to Al-Qaeda, the Salafist jihadist movement, and Hamas. Syria has denounced the terrorist massacre committed against Egyptian policemen near Rafah, north of Sinai, condemning it as a malicious terrorist act. In a statement, the Minister of Information extended condolences to the Egyptian people and the relatives of the martyrs on behalf of the Syrian people, affirming confidence in the Egyptian people's ability to confront systematic terrorism. Finally, Iraqi security forces have captured 63 terrorists linked to Al-Qaeda organization who admitted their involvement in the blast that took place on deadly Thursday in Baghdad and of the financial support offered to them by the Saudi regime. The Iraqi Minister of Interior said that the security and military operations launched by the Iraqi troops under the name Vengeance of the Martyrs have realized their objectives and prevented the execution of the terrorist schemes that target the Iraqis and their forces through destroying the terrorist organization's infrastructure, cutting communication among the armed groups, and undermining their fighting and logistic capabilities. The ministry's official spokesman said the security initiative is in the hands of the security forces inside Baghdad, as well as other regions, particularly after capturing hundreds of terrorists and seizing large quantities of weapons and terrorist hideouts in al Mosul, Al-Thar, Al-Jazeera, and the Western Desert. Brigadier Ma'an said the security campaign will go on with no specific timetable for its implementation, but its main objectives have been successfully realized. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now, latest business and market news with Nariman Qassam, but after a short break. <laughs>